Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who have been on the channel for a number of years, welcome back. And for those that are new, I welcome you as well. My name is J.A. Adams, and today's topic we're going to be covering is words matter in the Bible. And what I mean by that is the words, when we go to look at Scripture and come to a conclusion, come to an interpretation, words really do matter. And there's a lot of debate that Christians have on some of the minor doctrines, but we should not have debates on the major doctrines. And so I'm going to start with going over one of the, the biggest right now. And this is what I'm talking about. And that is the I am, the word spoken by God the Father and Jesus. In the Bible, both God and Jesus refer to themselves as I am. So we as Christians pretty much agree on this, but uh, the world attacks this, the Pharisees attacked Jesus in his day. And so we're gonna peel the layers of the onion back and see how we can defend this. So in the Old Testament, in Exodus 3.14, if you look at the major translations, the NIV, the ESV, Berean Standard Bible, King James, New King James, NAS, they all are in agreement words, almost exactly word for word, Jesus, uh, I'm not, I apologize, not Jesus, but God, God the Father, that's, this is God the Father speaking, God said to Moses, I am who I am, and in the context, we know he meant he was eternal, he existed, he existed from forever. So when we look at the New Testament, when Jesus is using these same words, and he was attacked by the legalists of his day, those who were against him. In John 8, 58, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, before Abraham was even born, I am. All the major translations are pretty much in agreement, maybe a few words here and there, but they're all saying the same message, whether it's the King James, the Berean, the ESV, NIV, NAS, New King James Version, they're all saying the same thing. So. People might be wondering, well, where's the rub in all this? And we're going to take a look. So this resource I'm using, we're going to take a look at the original Hebrew in Exodus 3.14. And the word. So in the word in the Hebrew dictionary, a lexicon concordance is aya. And when we scroll down, we look to see all the different meanings in this. It can mean to be, become, come to pass, exist happen, but we know in the context, uh, as believers all throughout the scripture, that when God Father called himself, I am, it meant he existed. It did not mean anything else that the word can mean, but context is king. So now we're going to take a look at Jesus' word spoken in John 8, 58, and this is the Greek word right here. We're going to click on this. So, this word here, I me, is uh, the word, the Greek word, uh, just as it is in the Hebrew, to mean several meanings, to be, to exist, to happen, to be present. But when Jesus spoke this, he was speaking because if we compare other parts of the scripture, when he's speaking of himself, uh, he is speaking, uh, for example, in John, when he said, I and the Father are one. So he means in this context to exist. So I think most Christians agree on this. Uh, for those who don't, you really got to question yourself uh, who is teaching you something different because it's not what's in Scripture. So the world, of course, attacks Christ for not being the same as God the Father, or they, don't, they just don't believe in either one. But now the next thing we're going to take a look at is what do the cults say? Because uh, this is one of the main core uh, tenets of the faith is the Trinity as well as the deity of Christ, as well as Jesus being eternal. So here we are in the, <clears throat> the New World Translation. This is the translation Bible that the Jehovah's Witness use. And in there, John 8, 58, how convenient. They have changed it from... I am who I am to Jesus said to them, most truly I say to you before Abraham came into existence, 
I have been. Well, that is a very subjective term. I have been could mean I have been around for a while. Uh, I have been a little while before Abraham, but it, 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 this this is was changed to fit their doctrine, and it's all throughout their scripture. There's many other places, so words do matter uh, when it comes to witnessing to the cults. Uh, all you have to do is, is point to some of these things. Uh, there's even a, other passages that are even greater than this uh, that prove that they are a false religion. So I hope this was helpful for you today. Uh, in the bottom of the, uh, the video, or I should say in the description, you will see a link to my um, visual Bible study guide. Take a look. Uh, you can get a free look uh, at, at some of it. And if you really want to uh, add another incredible resource to your library, uh, I welcome you to take a look and uh, Hope you can make it to the next video.